Cool. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to make a powered trailer jockey. So usually you buy the, the cheap ones from Harbor Freight or Princess Auto, and they have no power, and they work pretty good. But we're going to be moving a boat around in and out of a, a hard-to-reach enclosure, so this is going to help us with our tight radius turns and stuff. We're going to use a power drive wheel, followed by two balance and steering wheels. We'll have our drive motor here, battery, and your controllers up at your top. We'll have the ball height adjustable by a trailer jack, or a four-ton jack, so that you can set your height for each trailer differences. Alright, so this is going to be the basic configuration of the, the trailer dolly frame. We're 20 inches in length, and our width is going to be overall 24 inches. Then our tires or our drive wheels will fit in between there. Our back swivel casters will fit up on this uh, inch and a half riser, making for the offset of the height difference. Our drive wheels have an axle with a, a rider bearing to take the stress off so the wheel doesn't torque. Be five inch rod, drive gear on there. And this will be our drive shaft. We're going to weld that inside here to the, the wheel assembly. And then it'll fit in between two pieces of uh, board out material to house the axle. All right, we're back. Uh, now we're going to remove some of the paint because we're going to have to do some welding here. And you always want to have a clean surface when you're welding. Uh, we're just going to be using a Dremel just to get in there and just clean it up a bit. All right. Now we're just going to do a few tacks here. We've got everything lined up on the wheel. Uh, Dave, whenever you're ready. All right, we're back, and now we're going to uh, weld the main gear to the shaft. Uh, you can see in the background, the frame is mocked up. It's all just been tacked in. And uh, yeah, we're just going to make a few tacks, and then we're going to check the squareness, and we're going to uh, finish welding around the gear after we're done. So let's take her away. All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you can see in the picture, or I guess in the frame, we have our um, the winch cable housing, pardon me. All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, now we're going to be working on the uh, drivetrain assembly. We have our winch cable housing, our bushing, which will go on top. And then we're going to be welding that aluminum to aluminum. And now we have a dissimilar metal, or gear, which we're going to be using an aluminum braze because they are dissimilar metals. So we're going to get a good weld right around there. 
and then uh, we'll show you what this looks like after it's all uh, welded up. Okay, go ahead. No. no. All right, now we're going to be welding the bushing. It's aluminum to aluminum. That looks pretty good. Are we going again or are you still Yeah, keep going. Oh, very nice. Okay, so, so far. We have the drive gear onto the axle, one drive tire, one neutral tire for turning with the weight on the tongue or on the ball to keep enough on one tire you should always have traction. Then we have the bottle jack mount here so we're going to have our bottle jack with our trailer ball onto that and then we have our gear welded on our winch motor. We had to make an offset and a little clearance for the gear and that will mount on the arm going up to the drive wheels and then we're going to mount our battery tucked up over in this area over here. Everything's just tacked up right now. Alright so, so far we've got everything almost together. We have the handle on or the arm for the handle to sit on and then we have the battery mocked up we have everything in there nice and tight alright now we're going to go weld everything up a little bit more so it's structurally sound and then we'll go and do a test run on the ground and we'll be right back alright so everything's welded up got a little coat of primer on this. Now we're going to get it all dressed up, fit it up, and then we are going to give it a test run on the trailer. Okay, so we've got to make sure that the drivetrain goes in so that the drive gear lines up with uh, the winch drive gear. Then our axle shaft. Then we'll fit on the drivetrain. Five-eighths rod for this, but you could have used uh, different diameters that suit your needs. drivetrain assembly will be held in place with a, a 5 8 washer and then a potter pin. Okay, that's good. So now do is assemble our winch and the way this goes in is everything has to be put in an order because we've modified the base so we can't put it in together as a unit it's got to be put in separately so we'll stick that on okay, what we'll do is we'll just Turn this around a bit.
inserting the retaining pin on the drive assembly so that you can still put the gear in free spool and manually dolly the car. chain on, number 40 chain, the way you can tell if a chain is bad if it's got an excessive play in this direction, this isn't a, a, a double chain, it's a single, snap ring on after. On a direction of travel, if this was on a dirt bike or any other type of high piece of uh, speed equipment, you would make sure that the opening was not in the direction of travel. So I would say 90% of our travel would be in one of two directions, but on this, this gear here it doesn't matter because it's a slow RPM. Here it is, operational trailer jockey. We'll have to go take it down to the boat to see how she does.